Well, when I said that Lily Turf Grass survived the storm last February, I guess I spoke too soon. Over the course of the last month, it slowly died out from the base up. I guess the cold probably killed the roots, and then the rest followed. So now this carboy terrarium is basically sterile. It lasted about 11 months. I don't want to draw too many conclusions from this, since the cause of death seems to be a freak winter storm that isn't really representative of the conditions that I was trying to test with these terrariums. But that said, there really isn't anything but algae and bacteria growing in any of these at this point. The last of the 1.0 terrariums with anything growing in it was this whiskey bottle terrarium, number 00106, and it was also killed by the storm after lasting a little bit over 13 months. The only exception is the new carboy terrarium, which did survive the storm and is sort of recovering, but it's only a little bit over two months old. I did rehabilitate these front yard terrariums this month, which originally only lasted about three or four months. They still need about two more weeks of establishment before I seal them, but they're doing pretty well so far. My hypothesis has been that they cooked in the sun, so I'm placing them under various shade conditions to test this. One of them is going behind this metal shade, which will cast partial shade over the terrarium during the hottest part of the afternoon, and the other two are going under this greenhouse cover, along with some garden plants. We will see if they fare better this time. This whole approach of making a bunch of terrariums and seeing how they do has been a useful fact-finding exercise, but it's raised a whole slew of questions that I don't think could be adequately answered by just haphazardly making more and more terrariums. Instead, I've put together a program of experiments that I'd like to do, and hopefully I'll be making a video on that in the near future. In the meantime, I've started with the first test, but I don't plan to make continuous updates on it the way I've done with these general terrariums. Instead, it'll be just one big video at the end with the test plan and results all together, or else none at all. So anyway, here's the last month's time lapse of the remaining terrarium, and that'll be it for today.